Hiya, oh yeah, welcome to the video. Um, the Mike Austin Flammer 2.0. Been working on this and trying to link in a few things I've been working on with my swing. The pivot <coughs> and the vertical drop. See that? Yeah. I've got drop. Maybe could do a bit more drop from the top to impact. Pivot's working quite well. And you can hear the Mike Austin flammer. We've put a weight inside it so that we can wait till it sets and then wait till it drops and time it for the lower half. And you see that down the line there. So that our lower half is clearing out the way allowing us to have uh, room at the top for the club to fall into the slot and obviously the flammer's helping with the timing between the blend of the 45 throw and the lower leg action because it's like a door a hinge your lead hip moves at the same time as your shoulder and then your trail hip and matches again at impact with your uh, uh, right shoulder. So your lead shoulder and your right shoulder are driven by the pivot. And if, you, if we put a number of lines in, um, you would start to see that. But this gives you a good feel, even without hitting shots. The flammer has the ability to guide your body through free flowing motion so I think I'm going to explore this more um, because the 45 throw up and then the pivot back everything is timing now matching the two together two moves that's all it is is two moves and the flammer um, is keeping the connection there between the top and the bottom and uh, you can see I'm definitely more of a, a Mike Austin release through the uh, lower body than the Hogan release but I am dropping in height so <clears throat> some things I've been working on in my swing and to have a slight pause at the top of the backswing isn't a bad thing. It gets you set. It's not, it's not a huge pause. And I maybe exaggerate it a little in this video. Um, but certainly, it's everything is flowing better. And a lot more in balance. Up on the 45. The classic kind of reverse C that people mention. But everything... Is flowing and in balance. So the Mike Austin Flammer 2.0 with the weight that's inside it now, hear that set, hear it release. The release is actually audible so you can get the low point release that you want in the right place. A bit like Tom Watson's swoosh. Thanks for watching.